Hello, second grader. I see you. So, we have a math lesson today. Are you ready? We're going to be writing numbers in... Da, 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 expanded form. Have you ever heard of it? Oh, wow. Maybe you'll learn something today. Here's a quick introduction. Get a whiteboard ready or something to write with. There you go. Guess what? You can write numbers in many different ways. Today, you're going to learn about expanded form. It's also called expanded notation. Ooh, sounds fancy. It shows the value of each digit in a given number. Okay, get your whiteboard ready. Well, first, let's look at the number 367. The value of the three is in the, you're right, hundreds. So really it's 300. The value of the six is in the ten. It's really 60. The value of the seven is seven ones, or just seven. Now let's see if you can do this. So the three is in the hundred place, six is in the ten, and the seven is in the one. So to write this in expanded form, write this on your whiteboard. 300 plus 60 plus 7. That's expanded form for 367. Got all that? Now, you write this on your whiteboard. 58. The value of the five is in the, yes, tens place. That five is really 50. And the value of the eight is in the one, so it's eight. Five in the tens, eight in the ones. Now, see if you can write this in expanded form. All right, let's see if you got this right. Did you write 50 plus 8? Oh, that's expanded form. Nice job. Catch you in my next class. See you later, alligator.